Welcome. This video is about relative valuation. And now we are going to demonstrate the process of peer selection for the purpose of performing equity relative valuation. But first, we need to understand what is relative equity valuation. Relative equity valuation is a method of estimating equity value based on a comparison of equity financial measures of comparable companies. These financial measures are known as valuation multiples, which apply a set of particular financial ratios. Now, what are the steps in performing relative valuation? Relative valuation can involve many steps, but the key ones are the following. First, defining comparable peers. Second, collecting valuation data. Third, make preliminary estimation. Fourth, inspection of the preliminary results and adjustments. Five, further analysis if necessary. And six, interpretation of the results. Now, what are we going to do in this video? In this video, we'll focus on, on one aspect, that is peer selection. A peer is a group of companies sharing similar valuation characteristics like growth, cash flow profile, and risk. This is the most challenging, yet the most important task. A wrong peer group will lead into inaccurate estimates of value. If we are not careful at this stage, multiple subjectivity may occur due to selection of subjective peers. Also, we will state the main assumption in relative valuation as a foundation for understanding the estimation rationale. So, what is the main assumption here? The main assumption is that if firms are similar in comparable terms, they will have similar valuation multiples. Therefore, several sets of valuation multiples, known as ratios, can be used as benchmarks of estimating value. And what is the requirement for selecting a peer group? Relative valuation requires the existence of public firms that are similar and comparable. Similar firms can be identical from the same sector or same product, same service or competitors. And what is the common practice in peer selection? Some analysts simply use sector or industry to define and select peers. Indeed, this practice is for simplicity purposes only, assuming that firms in the same sector or industry should have similar value drivers, which are risk, returns, and the growth. For example, here we have computer manufacturers like Dell, HP, Apple, Compaq, Renovo, Samsung, Toshiba, Son, but these companies belong to the same industry, but they may not be identical in terms of risk, return, and the growth of cash flows. Therefore, we cannot simply regard them as comparable peers. Now, one of the important questions is, is there any standard for selecting a peer? The answer is no. Some companies may belong to more than one sector or industry. For instance, today mobile phone companies offer communication services as the primary product, but they also offer other products like online banking, online shopping, and so on. Therefore, a mobile phone company can belong to sectors like telecommunication, financial services, and retails. Hence, different analysts are likely to have different selection of peers for the same company. For example, here we have different peer definition for alphabet. What is our case illustration? In this video, we are going to use Facebook. This is an American online social media and social networking service company. So how can we define a peer for Facebook? In order to achieve a good selection of comparable firms, we need to collect company data from several multiple sources based on financial reports, and market information and make a comparable analysis. There are, however, advanced companies' databases like Bloomberg Terminal, Ruta Samsung, or Capital IQ, which can simplify the search for comparable companies by a click of the button. 
Our illustrative peer group is selected using Bloomberg Terminal. Now, what do we observe from our selection? Here, we have a group of Facebook peers selected using Bloomberg Terminal. We can see that Facebook peers belong to different sectors and industry. In the sector groupings, Facebook belongs to information technology sector, but some companies in the peer belong to different sectors like consumer discretionary and financial services. In the industry grouping, we have the peers from different industry, in which Facebook belongs to the internet software and services. Now, what if we do not have access to company databases like Bloomberg Terminal and others? Not that there are no standards in selecting a peer group. Therefore, we can determine our own peer based on our own criteria, depending on the purpose of valuation. The starting point is to decide the context in which we intend to compare the companies. For example, for the global context, we select a set of global companies. For competitors' context, we select a set of close competitors. In the market context, we select companies from the target market, like the Standard & Poor or BVC, if we are talking about Colombia. And for the industry context, we select companies from the industry. For domestic context, we can select companies from the target country, and so on. From the selected companies now, which are based on intended context, we select a peer of companies that are identical in one or more value drivers, such as risk, return, and the growth of cash flow. Note that there are different ways in measuring the value criteria. For example, risk can be measured using company beta, standard deviation of the returns, company default spread, leverage ratio, and so on. Returns can be measured using financial ratios, for example, return on assets, return on equities, earnings per share, and so on. Or market performance measures, that is stock returns, PE ratio, and dividend yield. Growth can be measured using proxies like cash flows, earnings, sales, and returns. However, it is not practically necessary to apply all the criteria simultaneously because companies cannot be identical in every aspect. Instead, a few criteria should be chosen and applied appropriately. For example, you can combine industry context and a return criteria, return on assets. You can combine industry context, a return criteria, stock on return, and a risk criteria, beta. You can combine industry context with the return on assets and a risk criteria better. Note that the choice of criteria is judgmental, depending on a professional analysis and a reasoning of several aspects like the nature of the context and the availability of data. Therefore, a peer can be comprised of firms from different sectors or industry. For example, Toyota, a car manufacturer, Coca-Cola, a beverage company, and Microsoft, a technology company, can belong to the same peer. Could we have different peer groups for Facebook? The answer is yes. It is possible to have different peer for Facebook. Here we have an example of Facebook peer selected by a different analyst, which include only Alphabet, Amazon, Alibaba, and Baidu. To sum up, once we have an appropriate peer, we can use it for the purpose of that evaluation, which is now the next stage in the evaluation process.